What up, what up? Good morning, good morning, GMG. Hey! Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. I'm going to do this 2024 thing all year long, by the way. Uh, 2024, look at that. Another beautiful day. Have a beautiful day. I mean, the sun is shining. Shining. Paris. Guys, I have to say, when I'm in London, the sun shines. When I'm in Paris, the sun shines. The sun is shining. The sun is following me around. Got to love it. Got to love it. Gotta let the sun shine. Mm -hmm. The sun shining. The sun shining. Anyways, I got my co-host in the house. I mean, honorary co-host today. Uh, you know, we got we got the, the third leg of Canary Labs. <laughs> <laughs> the cock. <laughs> I'm actually gonna start calling you the cock. Uh, but see I like that. That's not bad. I mean, you literally have a cock behind you. Right, move your head a bit. That's not the cock. It's a, it's that, a duck. Not, it's a duck. Is it a duck? Is it a real duck? That's Can you bring duck. it on camera? I mean, Ovi, Cowley. Good morning, lads. How are you guys doing today? Morning, morning, <laughs> morning. Good. Not bad, not bad. Markets, not great, but here we are. we're bouncing though. We we bounced before the show. We bounced. Um, we're gonna talk about oh, that. Markets are not great. That. We did. We bounced. We bounced a whole two thousand dollars on Bitcoin. It's not bad. Because Solana's <laughs> not bouncing anytime soon, King. Uh, but <laughs> we're gonna have to wait for this fucking. Good. I mean, like I said, get get Solana, get the fucking Solana, get it, some Robbie Tussin, get it some fucking cold medication, get it some Advil. Let me tell you guys, I needed some of that this morning. Look, I was worst headache of my life. Um, uh, it is what it is. Anyways, we're gonna get into details of that. Uh, but anyways, anyways, so back to this conversation though. Very important. Is it a duck? Like, what's behind you? Like. Can you bring it? Yeah, it's yeah, a I... French duck. No, it's fixed to the desk. It's a it's a feature of the desk. Um, it's fixed to the desk. It's a French duck, which I acquired about a decade ago. Is it a real there. duck? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we gonna get cancelled? Did you oh, shoot it? Oh, it's no, no. no Did no, you no. kill it's that an, duck? It's antique. No ducks were harmed in the creating of that taxidermy. Or did you eat it? Because I had foie gras. Point. I had foie gras yesterday. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, no, 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 none of that stuff. I uh, I had this incredible fog out yesterday at cost actually. The day before, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was overpriced as fuck. Uh, but it was really good. I mean, it was a bull market two days ago. Okay, so I could justify having a thirty-four euro fog out, you know. But I today, I feel like I feel like at conferences, if Bitcoin's over seventy k, people start to go crazy, and if it's below, Obviously. people start to get depressed. Um, it was funny. We're, we're literally, you know, it's funny as you're saying this, we're back to like previous all time high. And like, and la, I mean, last cycle was like, high, like 69K. And this is like a bear market. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, things are bad. And we're talking about a duck. I mean, duck literally shat on Ovi's hat. So it's good luck, though. Uh, so it's good luck. It's good luck. It's good luck uh, to have bird poop uh, on you. Anyways, today on the show, today, today, daily market report. I mean, we, we brought geopolitical expert. Benjamin Cowley uh, on the on the show today uh, to speak to us about more macroeconomics and, and what's happening uh, on that front and then of course my boy Ovi so we're gonna we're gonna talk about the markets uh, of course as usual Bitcoin uh, we got quite a quite a retrace um, uh, a pullback yesterday but it seems like it was just testing new uh, testing something whatever the lines say I just follow what Saint Pump says on Twitter I went I actually follow also the duck guy they they're pretty good traders. So I, I I just follow what they say, and my boys. So we're 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 good. We're back ish. Uh, so we have that. Uh, we have, you know, and uh, memes, alts, memes, and dreams. Um, you know, quite a pullback on all Solana ecosystem, of course. But we already went way over it, like a lot yesterday. Um, uh, over the over that and what's happening. Looks like we have quite a pullback, but that's obviously based to, due to the fact that. You know, Solana literally doesn't really work much. Um, you have uh, runes again, hot topic. I mean, very fair. It, it's literally in bold capital red letters. It says runes, hot topic. Sims must have a bag of runes because that it in red, and he does the topic. So he must have a bag of runes. Uh, I'm obviously kidding. I have a bag of runes. That's what's up. Uh, so runes are a hot topic. I mean, it's 420. It's coming. The having's coming. Runes are gonna cook. I say it every day on the show. 
I'm gonna literally shove runes down people's throats every day on the show. Uh, and I did it on stage yesterday, actually, on the panel. Anyways, we have that. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, oh, X copy 101 sold for two million. Holy shit. Yeah. Raul Pal is on a bender. Is that Raul? Yeah, had it for Raul again. Is it actually though? No, no, no you I'm mean- joking. I, mean, I don't I, I don't know, but I don't know that it is him. It could be. We're gonna go through the wallet uh, on the show. We're you know what? We're gonna go through the wallet on the show. We're gonna go and 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 you know, because you know, we're gonna be feds and go look at what's going on in that wallet. Um, on, on that. And then last but not least, we'll be joined today with today's show partner, Tipsy, the Tipsy Company. They'll be joining us to talk to us about Nova Frontier, their game. That is so it's actually a gaming company that launched a game before raising. Crazy. Insane. I've never seen that in crypto. Uh, and then, <laughs> and of course, as you know, this show is part, sponsored by Fairside Network, wallet coverage for drains, scams, and more. But also, also, also film.io, uh, the world's most powerful decentralized filmmaking ecosystem, film NFTs. Uh, so check him out, film.io and Fairside Network. So anyways, without further ado, why don't we get right into it? Oh, we don't hear it, by the way. <laughs> Silent disco, I think. It's at least it's on the spare, so it's okay. Okay. Oh, you guys can't hear the, the, the jingle? Not in here, but it's on the spare, so you're all right. Oh, I definitely heard it. Um, Ovi. Uh, Ovi probably didn't even know it was his jingle still. Uh, yet, Mendel's not here. <laughs> um, Ovi, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. We had CPI this morning. Market tanked, and then we're back. What's going on? Yeah, CPI. Inflation came in at 3.5% versus 3.4% expected versus 3.2% last month. So, you know, in isolation, a 0.1 percentage point increase versus expectations isn't like the worst thing in the world. But I think in the context of all the different numbers that we've seen in the last few weeks, in the last few months, really, since the beginning beginning of this year, there is some increasing concern that the Fed is not going to cut rates anytime soon. And at the beginning of the year, we had anticipated six rate cuts that went down to three. I think that's maybe now down to two. I think the expectation for a rate cut in June is probably pretty much off the table now. So yeah, it's not great for like the interest rate market, I guess, because it means we're not going to see lower rates anytime soon. The Fed has to keep it high because it's fine to have all this really strong economic data that's good for the economy. But if inflation also starts to tick up alongside that, that's where the concern really kicks in, especially with especially with rates already quite high. So let's hope that it stays within this like three, you know, mid three area range for inflation. We don't go towards four or above because that would really start to cause, uh, be a cause for concern and actually would be a, um, a situation in which we can maybe even see rate hikes. Um, so let's hope we stick around the mid three area. But yeah, it's not great. Interest rates had a big move higher. We're at 4.5% now on, on 10 years. So that's like a 15 basis point move higher. Um, 20 basis point move higher in the front end on two year and stocks don't like the news stocks are down stocks are down about one percent so um yeah not a great number crypto four percent yeah crypto is lower was lower in sympathy i think we dropped to as low as 67.8k on bitcoin we've actually retraced most of that move we're now back up to 69k almost where we were bitcoin's almost back to unchanged it's the number so we really are seeing incredible strength in crypto just in that you know, despite that number, it's just another testament to the fact that crypto seems to just not really be correlated with macro right now, away from ETFs, but the ETF flows also don't seem to be correlated with macro yet. But I think if you zoom out, they will be eventually. So yeah, that's, that's where we are at right now. Um, not a great number, but I think it's nice to see that crypto is not getting decimated on it. And yeah, I wonder what would have happened if um, if we had a low number, how much we were really rallied. Yeah. Um, look, it looks like we're uh, we're not looking that bad. I mean, look, I, I drew the same lines as my favorite traders or sorry, astrologists in crypto. Uh, and so I, I, I uh, that's what I did. I, I have the same lines. They call this apparently, boys, they call this um, a bullish pennant. Um, uh, it's it's, just, it's like a flag, you know, it's like that. And, uh, and it looks good. I mean, Cowley, what do you say? Do we like that? I mean, it looks – the lines don't lie. The lines, the lines they don't lie. lie but, um, They're not lying yeah, here. We have this ongoing this? disagreement in Canary Labs where I'm like this inflation bear and Ovi and Michael are this inflation bulls. 
And once again, I was right. So you are, <laughs> I mean, okay, so this is going to be funny because you are the bear in Connecticut. No, the infl in, on inflation. I just think- No, no, you're a bear. Situation. You're a bear. I'm never going to let go of what you told me at 22 Governor in December. You're never getting over that. Or so November or October that was. I forgot. I don't even remember what it was. It never even happened. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you are the bear. Can I, it's, I, I think it's very healthy. Because Mando and, and Ovi are like, I mean, Ovi sometimes is a little bearish. You know, when he tells people to take profits. I don't like that. But uh, <laughs> I should listen to him. Uh, and, and then, I mean, that's why he's richer than me. Uh, and, then, and, then, and then, but you, it's, it's good that Canary Labs says, I mean, the third leg of Canary Labs is a bear. So I actually want to hear from the mouth of the bear here. How do you feel about this market and inflation and all that good stuff? There's never been a case in the history of the world where inflation just went up and then down. Oh, it's never a one time thing ever. Not, Maybe not in since, like, not since 2020, the famous 2022, 2023 <laughs> event. We're not finished yet. We're not finished. We're not through it. So we don't know. But that's just, you know, I'm a historian. I enjoy looking at past at the past and seeing what it tells us about the future and I, I just think it's isn't not that really true for like literally thing. literally pretty much any not only only any asset but just anything like nothing ever just goes up and not down and then back up again like isn't that just like a cycle well even yeah, even yeah, human so. height goes up and then goes and goes down what do you mean human height goes up now. i'm not growing I, i'm now. definitely not growing uh yeah i have exactly. not gotten you, taller you you grew you, now you've stalled, and then as you get older, you'll shrink. Well, that's I'm gonna get shorter. Point. Yep. Seriously, do we get shorter? No, it's like do you actually get shorter? Yeah, especially after you die as well. You just you really get shorter. Hold on. Shorter. I would Google it, but apparently my keyboard's annoying. I'm sorry, guys. I I, I did bring. Hold on. I I brought a keyboard. <laughs> I traveled with my keyboard this time. Uh, so let me maybe turn this on. Uh, so. You're telling me I'm gonna get shorter than this because I'm like four six. That sucks. You get shorter every day because of gravity, and then you elongate at night when you lie down. Oh, because of the fine. compression between your vertebrae. Anyway, inflation is not just yeah. gonna keep going down. I think the market got ahead of itself with like six rate cuts or some bullshit, whatever was priced at the start <laughs> of the year, and then that's come down and it's coming down, it's coming down, it's coming down, and then it's gonna go to zero rate cuts, and that's where we are. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, okay. I guess, uh, I guess, I guess I just found out that we got shorter. Yes, BL8. I'm wearing pants, bro. Don't worry. Uh, I've decided I'm going to wear pants now on the show because of this freaking mirror. It didn't, yes, I, this screenshot to me going around just in my undies because of the show yesterday. Um, and, um, it is what it is. You know, I was told I have a nice bump. So it's, it's you know, I, as I'm Persian, it's like that. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> so that's that on the, that's that on the uh, on the on the inflation, the macro, and all that boring stuff. Anyways, uh, besides that, Solana is looking like it, it it hasn't bounced so much. I mean, Ovi, you were that's what kind of the comment you were making. It's at one sixty two. I'm looking at the timeline uh, on Twitter, and it's funny. Uh, we were talking about Canary Labs, um, and Lydia, you guys are back to back. I mean, it's me, then Ovi, then Mando on the timeline. While Ovi's looking for an assistant. So if ever, if anyone wants to fire a job, I almost quote tweeted you. I think I drafted it. This is a great job opportunity. If you're Ovi's assistant. I mean, I'm assuming I, that it's not, I don't, I got loads of people who are like way too overqualified for what I'm asking for. Like this is, I wouldn't say in my opinion, this is not like an amazing job opportunity. This is like, <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like it's pretty boring work. I just need some help on it. And if someone is willing to do it, then, you know, please, please get involved. But, I'm not looking for like really qualified people who have like years of experience in crypto. Like this is not what that role is. Oh, you're not looking for someone to degen for you? No. Uh, this is a very yeah. boring job. The Maybe only, the only the benefit job. of this job is you get to speak to me, which isn't, isn't even really a benefit if we're being honest. Drawback. So yeah, it's probably a drawback. <laughs> so you... I just want to say this is a, this is a shit job. I just, want, I just want to make that clear. <laughs> this is a really shit job. Hold on, dude. The... And despite that, if you still want to do it. For years to come. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I I don't see a world where you have an assistant. There's no chance. Like you're never going to hire an assistant. I, I I may not even hire someone. I think that's why I said it will just be an internship and see if it works. But um I mean if you well, want I a summer internship, if you're at school, you want a summer internship and work for the literally the the the, the fresh buy of Daka himself. 
I mean, this is a good job opportunity for yeah. you. You get you apparently pay, you get you get epic. You pay an epic or what? If if you're a uni student, and I have a preference for people based in the UK because, for obvious reasons, but if you're a uni student yeah. and you don't have anything to do this summer and you want something to do um, remotely, then this could be interesting. I think that's like the kind of thing I'm going for. Okay, I might well, even just make it so it's like you have to be like a first or second year uni student or third year uni student. Okay, well, look, if it, I mean, Cali, you don't you don't want to take this job? It's not interesting. <laughs> I, I'm the reason he has to. I'm, <laughs> this is I'm, this is to fill Cali's role. Yeah, exactly. I, I failed at my job, so now I have to hire <laughs> <a> an <certain> assistant. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny but anyway so i was uh, this is actually not what i was going to bring up i was going to bring up what's right under it uh which is mando's tweet um it's funny so you're looking for an assistant mando's buying solana see at least one of you guys is doing a good deed um and uh <laughs> for what it's worth don't you shouldn't overlook the overqualified people Obi, because hiring someone that could be overqualified for that specific position could I end don't. up I don't want over. I don't want someone to come in with expectations. Like I don't want yeah. overqualified people. It's not. I'm not here to like this job. Is not to. Why well, you someone... make it sound horrible? Like I, you I know, make it sound just, like you're I'm a horrible employer. I'm trying to man. No, I'm going to be a great fucking employer, and I'll do and I'll do my best. And I think I'm. A, I would be like a really friendly boss. But yes, you're a good trying person. to manage expectations here. I don't want someone coming <laughs> with that. Right, like I'm right. going to fucking like you know change your like, life. Yeah, exactly. Wait. What's that scene with uh wait 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 the fucking what's his name in World of War for what you give me a seventy thousand dollar check and then leave everything right now. This is not one of those situations where someone's gonna have leave everything to come and work at Canary Labs under you uh and make like millions trading meme coins. Yeah, we're not hiring a, yeah, just to be clear, we're not hiring it's not like we're hiring a junior tra trader. That's not the job. The job is like <laughs> is an assistant. It's like please I'm help me field my phone calls and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Look, there's the, so yeah, I mean there. UK preferred. If you want an assistant job, of course you're probably not gonna find it in the space. Uh but um, you know, um, this is just to... proof that AI is I, I thought AI was gonna steal all these jobs, but lo and behold they won't. didn't. No chance. If someone could can't. train an AI I can't of live me, without an assistant. I would take yeah, I would take that if someone can train an AI of me. I can't live without an executive assistant. I, I cannot, I cannot. Like even right now at events, I know where I'm going after, before, who I have to meet, where, when, how, show this, that. It makes your life, in, it's like the biggest alpha when you own a company, like to literally like have someone help you with that OB. So you you could use the help, I'm sure. Uh, it's very bullish actually. Okay, so bullish red guy. Okay, next. So what I was gonna bring up is Mando's tweet actually. Uh, and I'm curious what you guys think about that, uh, but we can't talk about it yesterday. So Callie, what are your thoughts here? Feels like a good time to buy soul. Inflation freak out. Peak ticket failure FUD. Patches coming next week. Chatter of fire dancer. Choose rich. Do you choose rich, Cowley? And what do you make of the Solana situation? Always choose rich. Um, and the, Mando is right. It's peak FUD. It's peak ticket FUD. It's peak like um, congestion FUD. It's peak like market FUD, et cetera, et cetera. So for like a short term trade, I think it looks good. I don't love the fact that this is meant to be like super quick, super usable chain and it's not quick or usable. It's not great medium term, but I agree it's peak FUD right now and always buy peak FUD. Yeah. Yeah. Feels like it. I mean, we wicked down to $162 uh, today on, uh, on Bitcoin. Uh, sorry, on, on, on Solana. So um, it's quite, it's quite a, it's quite a, it's quite a low print here. Uh, I don't think it's, I mean, it was it was around this prices when last it was on in March, March twentieth. So it's been it's been a few weeks. Um, it's been a few weeks. It's been a few weeks. Anyways, uh, next up, what, what what's going on in the market as well? So you got, I mean, we got on the Solana side uh, again. Fire Dancer is getting closer. That's something that I think Mando was talking a lot about in Q four because that's when it was announced. Um, so we got Fire Dancer. Um, I I think there is and a risk with Fire Dancer. It's this thing which is like is always it? in the future. It's like the million tickets per second, like um, yeah, yeah. the consensus node implementation, whatever. Like there's this, there's always, it's, it could be one of those things which is just always on the horizon and, and never comes. Mm. But maybe that's a good thing. It's like when the hamster has the little stick attached to its back and, and then it's got the treat. That's all, so it's always like just in front of it. Maybe it's like that and maybe that helps the Solana price pump. Yeah, but I feel I like mean... it's not like that. I, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to fix a lot of shit. Uh, I'm not sure we need a million TPS, but I'll take 10,000. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 and that's doing well. Kelly, have you, have you been, have you been, have you been navigating the base waters at all? 
Yeah, I, I I'm on Dgen layer three, man. I'm deep in. Oh um, yeah, you're you're D, you like Dgen. It's true. You you took a Dgen trade, right? Of course, um, <laughs> mostly for the name, but um, yeah, I think if anything, this pushes people to base. I still think the the like. All you have to think for base to be successful is just that like it opens up Dex usability to everybody that has the Coinbase wallet, and that is like big for that chain. That, that, don't overcomplicate it. So all you have to think about with that. Yeah, it's just the Coinbase wallet, which is actually really nice. Currently, I don't use it, yeah. but I, I heard no, it is like everyone. And Solana, it. Solana, like having issues, not necessarily bad issues, but having issues just makes that narrative stronger in my mind. Yeah, hundred percent. Like my normie friend George. I always mention him on the show. He's probably watching. He watches the show every day, I think. Um, asked me yesterday, uh, two days ago for the first time. He's like, so how does this base thing work? <laughs> he's like, so it's base because he's been trading shit coins on Solana. <laughs> uh, and he's like, so how do I get base? I'm like, oh, it's easy. It's very easy. Let me show you how. <laughs> so, so you literally you go to you better mask and you switch the network. Uh, so so <laughs> it's very, it makes it, you know, it's not that hard. And it's a like Uniswap. You all use Uniswap already. So, yeah, I mean, they're ki they're killing it. I think the TVL, why does DeFi Llama not show $4 billion, by the way, on the TVL? Do you guys know why? Um, It shows $1.46. No. What is it? Four, 4 billion, though? On base? Yeah. Or is sure. 1.4? I thought I thought it was more. I thought they had a bigger. Uh, I thought they had a bigger TVL. Still not bad, but the the volume over there is skyrocketing. So they're they're doing really well. So that's that's really what's been dominating the space at the moment. And then that's that. I mean, I mean, Cowley, while I have you here, um, I kind of want to ask you. I mean, how is how is our geopolitics doing? How 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 is the world? Doing? <laughs> I I, I well, don't look outside much. During the eclipse, which is annoying, but um, right. How did you, did you survive the eclipse? Down. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't even coming over Europe, so that's fine. Um, <laughs> everything seems to have settled down in the past, like, few weeks. I don't know. Like, the tensions have kind of settled. Everybody seems less on a knife edge. Um, I heard the, uh, the lean hog situation in, in West Suriname is, is starting to kick off recently. The that, could have, always, that, could have implications for, that could have implications for China taking over Hong Kong. Hold on, hold on. Pause. Hold on. What are you guys talking? Uh, about? No, have, you, have you not been following the um, pandemic in in the Middle East? There's a pandemic in the Middle East. Yeah, we're literally in, going to the in, Middle East in the on deep in the Saturday, deep in the, in the deep Middle East. It's the deep, oh, Middle, deep East. Middle East. So what's the deep Middle East? Because like, the Middle There's East like, like lean hogs pandemic in the deep Middle East. Like in Dubai. Like deep Middle East, a deep like I don't know what deep. that means. What's the deep Middle East? Like, t t please describe to me what the deep Middle East looks like to you. Iraq, like, maybe? I don't know. Iraq, yeah, like, Iran, yeah, like th like the mountains of Iran, probably. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, okay. That's very quintessential yeah. deep Middle East. Like yeah. northern Iran, like that's deep Middle East, like the yeah. northern mountains of Iran, like where the snow and shit. That's the deep. All right, I got it. Anyways, uh, so <laughs> you, guys, you guys are crazy. Uh, yeah, you guys are insane. Anyways, so uh, besides that, I mean, memes, outs, memes, and dreams. I mean, you know, I'm trying to look at the, the hot stuff here uh, on Dex Screener. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of stale when Solana is kind of congested. I'm not going to lie. It's a little, and I, it's a little boring, <laughs> right? Like Solana's yeah. really become the casino. Like base is cool, but like it feels like the casino's closed. You know what I mean? Do you guys get that feeling a bit right now? Totally. Um this is why casinos are open 24-7, 365 days a year. Yeah. Um and if they're closed, everybody else goes to another casino. So right. I feel like that's the situation with Solana right now. But and, and saying that as well, like we have seen apart from a few coins. The originality in the in these memes is like getting worse. Like you got Pepe, Son of Pepe, Blue Pepe, Yellow Pepe. Um, the derivatives of the derivatives are just like it's just another kind of um, another reason for people to like stop paying attention. And I think it's all about just keeping people's yeah. attention. So you need to go back to like original memes, which are actually funny in my mind, um, or, and can like capture people's attention span or make them laugh or or whatever. But like. 
what do you like what, what does about... Cali buy? What is what is what how does a how does a meme pass the Cali test? This is this is bad. What do you um, look for? I don't even know. But it, I've been rugged like you know. two or three times in the past. I know time. you rugged uh, me two I'm, times last I'm week. I'm clearly not a good indicator on this. Um Cali but... sent me, I don't know if you saw that, Ovi. Cali sent me two coins last week and both of them the liquidity drained five minutes in. And yeah, uh, oh look, the right. balloons even agree. Uh, if, if both of them rugged five minutes in. To your defense, you did send me a few ten x's, but uh, obviously we only but mentioned the rugs. I, think, I, I kind of like OG internet memes, and that I feel like what I've learned is that those are the obvious ones which scammers know that people like, which is why they launch them. So I, there's like a bit of game theory here, which I need to work through. I think um, me versus the scammers. Oh my god, I uh, I love that. Listen, uh, I I love to listen. I just I just uh, I I love um, I love what um, I love I love that the Kelly test is important. The Kelly test is important. He's the last line of defense before like in a meme, um, you know. And if he doesn't like it, then be careful. Did you did you also cook with with Ovi or what? I never asked you that. Uh, you get I was in... like I was away that weekend, and then I came back, and it was already like ten x or some shit. I tried to have a normal life, and then I just fade generational. Why is Obi laughing? Twice a week. Oh, he's like smiling. He's like sly. Like he's like laughing about it. He's like smiling. <laughs> it sounds like I one said, of these cases where Obi like told cute. you. I said the dog was cute, and that was it. I think, and then I looked again, and it was generational wealth was gone. So there we go. <laughs> Obi, did you try? Were you a good friend? Did you actually push? I don't survive? push people into trades other than maybe one specific trade right now, but away from that. Um, What's the one specific trade? We're all in it. I won't say it, but, um, um, but I don't oh. like to, I don't I like, and if it goes wrong, you don't want that on your, am I in it? Um, yeah. Okay. Fire. I mean, so many things. Yeah. I don't want I don't want, I don't want it on my conscience where someone's like, Oh my God, you told me to buy this. And now it's lower. Like it's like that meme, right? The Kanye meme where he's like, you know, I have yeah. this, Listen, but I don't know that. I didn't, it could I didn't, I didn't exactly buy with thinking it'd be fucking four billion dollars, right? Like it just I happened. Know. So you don't if every obviously if everyone knew that then then they would just like buy loads of it. Like I think sometimes oh. you just realize something sometimes the trade gets better as you yeah. get in, in it and then yeah. So hundred percent. Hundred percent totally agree. And uh, in other news, I mean and then we're gonna go to to the tipsy company. I see them in the studio. Uh but in other news, I mean look, uh I mean it's again it when it's talk at this NFTs, it's only in Bitcoin right now. Like, literally, that's it. Like, that's what the only thing that's doing really, really well is anything trading on Bitcoin at the moment. The runes are flying. Could have seen that coming. It's like the most obvious trade, in my opinion, was runes. Even rune pops. Yes, you saw rune pops. I mean, we talked about it yesterday, actually, that on Solana was like going crazy. Uh, but the runes are going absolute, it's absolute madness on, on Bitcoin right now. Let me pull up DGENs, actually. Uh, here, uh, so runes, runes, runes. It's just runes. It's literally just runes right now. Obviously, it's the biggest narrative ever for that, which is the Bitcoin having, uh, and they're all about to launch. Uh, or you're gonna get your tokens, however it works. Uh, I, I saw Juan said was listening on the show. He's he's quite the guy for 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 following what's happening on that front. So runes are flying. Uh, it's all Bitcoin. I mean, Cali, have you been involved wow. in the Bitcoin trade at all? I was, Look at this. I was cheap it's all green. The approach. Um... I didn't it's love the initial it's... way that they traded on like an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> and then yeah, that was, and I was just like, this whole thing's a joke. And then just forgot about it. And now, yeah, here we are. It's all green. Like, and if I pull up like here, let me pull up Solana. It'll be red. I'm sure more red. Obviously not too much red. And Madlands are still trading above 120. So it's quite, it's quite good. I didn't know wow. Tensorians went down to 79. Wow. Um, the, and then the you have was pretty disappointing, right? Um, I think a lot right. of people are pissed off about the airdrop. Ah, okay. I saw. I saw people on the timeline, but of course, can't follow as much when I'm uh, when I'm not home. And the only thing that's green again is Miladies <laughs> on ETH. <laughs> again, <laughs> another day. Miladies are higher, uh, and they're up. Uh, they're up ten points. In Twenty four hours. They're up twenty three percent. Twenty three point eight percent on the week. Uh, you have Meme Land that's up. You have Little Pudgies. You have. Suki a little bit, Digos a bit, not really. Uh, Pudgies are still above 12 ETH, which is really good. I mean, Pudgies, it's, it's it, right? It's really holding very well above that. Uh, still even on par 
with uh with Board Ape Yacht Club. Um, and then punks. I mean, dude, Obi, I don't know what you think about this, but I saw this punk trade just now. It's so nice. I love this punk. I don't know what you guys think about this. Wow. One. Sick, right? I just saw that. It's a fire combination. And then an X copy sold for two million dollars. Saw that on the before coming on the show. That's crazy. That is insane. Two million dollar X copy sale. Um, we wanted to see if it's. Uh, we need to find out if it's Raul Pal. I mean, you know, is Raul Pal buying up all the all the X copies? Ovi, I feel like you would know. I feel like you're the w Raul Pal whisperer. <laughs> Are you the Raul Pal whisperer? He's definitely buying some, or he's definitely bought some. You know what, though. You bet your ass that Benny is in his messages trying to sh sell him a skull. <laughs> hey, Raul, if you listen to this, buy a skull, Lucy. Uh, shout out to Sam's Pratt. I wish I could. Uh, one day. One day. Uh, so that's that. Look, that's that really on the NFT front. Things are selling. Um, some things are not selling. It's happened on Bitcoin. Yada, yada, yada. That's that. Uh, that's really the big uh, stuff. And then last but not least, I mean, yesterday, I mean, we're all advisors, but... You had Creatorhood founder come on the show yesterday and it looks like it opened pretty well. So uh, that's going to be interesting narrative as well amidst uh, a market that was red today. Uh, that was some green this morning. So um, make sure you pay attention to that. I think I think if the social fine narrative is going to keep going, that's one of those airdrops farming that you guys are probably going to be able to uh, to uh, be rewarded. On. But anyways, 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 with that, why don't we go to today's partner of the show let me get you up on stage let me get you up our humanity was on the brink of extinction in the endless void we discovered a new hope for our survival an unparalleled energy source we've located the specimen commencing analysis uh, what was that We are deploying our forces. Defend the Dark Nova Crystals at all costs. trailer am i right ovi that was shit. yeah that's pretty that epic. was that was pretty cool i have to say like i actually watched the whole thing <laughs> i was like I was, I was looking at it like holy shit that's a fire trailer tipsy what's up man what's up penguin how you doing yo yo farouk how are you guys doing dude we are good we're good the sun is shining uh our bags are not pumping but we're good uh we're good and that did that was actually a really cool trailer i i have to give you some credits for that it it was it was uh it was a lot of fun to watch and it's really cool and actually maybe hella curious there's over a thousand people as usual watching the stream on video uh there's about two three hundred people on, on 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 spaces so if you're not if you're not on if you're not on video yet you can come and join us i've posted the broadcast link it's posted on from hour we're live on binance live as well uh and across the board youtube yada 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 i mean tipsy coin uh tipsy company uh are are, are joining us uh today and we have penguin uh behind the pfp here um that uh that has uh that is on stage with us i mean penguin what's up man why don't you give us a little introduction what is what is this fire trailer about thank you for yeah man i mean our approach was we wanted this to be cinematic Right. I mean, Noah Frontier is the second game uh, we are launching. And this is uh, coming up this month. Later this month, this game is releasing. It's already been approved on the App Store and Play Store. Uh, free to play mobile game, you know, kind of intergalactic uh, space combat base management. We have now over 115,000 people worldwide who have signed up for the wait list. 
Oh, that's actually that's actually pretty crazy. So I mentioned something before when we were talking about you coming on the show today. Um, at the beginning, saying you guys did the opposite of what you're supposed to do. You actually built a game before launching. You're supposed to not launch the game. You're supposed to not have a game built, and then you launch, and then you build it. Am I right? I'm just kidding. But uh, so you guys actually built the game already, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this game has been amazing now for over two years. You know, we we bought this game initially from a studio that ran out of funding because it is a high budget production, and then we've been we've been working on it additionally for about a year now. So all in all, over two years, uh, the Tipsy Company. I mean, we have a team of thirty plus globally, right? Self funded um, in this rent free gaming space now for two and a half years. And our approach is just really onboarding players here, man. I mean, how do you build a fun web three game? It's as simple as building a fun game. And I think a lot of projects often forget that. And you know, we are here about being inclusive, building a nice community. Uh, come and join us, man. This is fun in here. Yeah, dude. Fuck. I mean, I think I think this is awesome. I love your energy. <laughs> I love it. I think I think I, I love the energy. I love the energy. I love it. I love it. You're, you're hyping me up. You're telling me so. It's already on Android. Right, and it's I believe it's coming on iPhone soon, uh, because you yeah you, you we yeah. already talked so about the game this. is releasing globally all at the same time on both platforms on Android and mm -hmm. iOS so Google Play uh, and the App Store. We want to make this accessible for people. Handheld devices are the way to go. It's launching later this April, but you know what we have really exciting is in six days from now we are launching spaceships and you don't need to buy one to play the game because you're being given a free spaceship when you uh, kind of join the game um but if you want something cool it's not just cosmetic right we, we understand in the world of nfts utilities king it's it's not just a collectible it's beyond the community you know it's, it's essential for playing and it's, it's important for for yeah. earning harvesting rewards and just having fun right Fuck yeah definitely and Why now not, you're right? watching some sneak peeks of the game baby so yeah <laughs> i love that dude you, you got me hyped I, i'm not gonna lie you got you got me hyped up. i like when founders are hyped about their own shit i don't know i i i think <laughs> it's just so fun dude so what this is the gameplay i'm, I'm not a big gamer yeah. people know that i'm i'm good at fifa or school every actually ovi do you play fifa we should play fifa one day i feel like you play fifa been a long time, but yeah. Yeah, I feel like, but you never lose FIFA. FIFA, I, the furthest gaming I've gone through, and Sims always makes fun of me, Fortnite. That's like my foray into gaming was through Fortnite. Um, and maybe Monopoly on the iPhone ones. But 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 this is this is a pretty fire game. I mean, run me through it. You guys already built it. It's already launched. So how does this all work? Like you 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 have a sale coming soon, of course, uh, for the for the spaceship. And then what? Like what what's gonna go down? Talk to me more about Nova Frontier. 100%. So when you think of it, you know, from a Web3 perspective, right, um, investors, players, they buy NFTs in hopes to use it. Yeah. You know, we are telling you there are spaceships, uh, you can get on this wagon early and you want to join early because number one, these spaceships are limited. And you think about it from a traditional NFT mindset, people are like, hey, 10k supply is big in today's terms. But when you think about the game, oh, half a million or, you know, two or three million players, what are 10,000 spaceships in comparison? Right, it's 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 highly limited, um, and these spaceships can be used in this game. It is as good as what you see. The graphics are completely sick. I mean, my grandparents are asking me how they can get their hands on this, right? And in the sixties and the seventies, oh, Jesus, you know, you see, you see starship launching on one hand like that, you can almost feel like you're piloting a starship in your palms, baby. You want to get your hands on this game the moment it launches. Dude, I, I I can't get over how fire your energy is right now. I wish you were on video, dude. I I <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. And so dude, you're that when you said your grandparents hitting you up with this, kill me, dude. I love that. I freaking love that. I, I hope they're proud of you, man. You're you're building some cool shit. So you have so you were saying you're building a game for web two that has a web three component. How's that been for you, actually? I'm kind of curious because like you obviously have 150,000 people on a wait list, which is fire. <laughs> Honestly, well done, GG. Uh, but you know, what what are you um, you know, what what what's your approach here? Like the, do you have a web three angle, which is the 10,000 spaceships that are coming out soon? Um, and you can all check it out. The website I'm sharing right now is Nova Frontier.io for anyone who's curious, NOVA Frontier F or F R O N T I E R dot I O. There's everything there. Uh, you guys have a wiki, you 
you know, you can secure your early bids. There's the races, human alien AI, which by the way, like really cool looking shit. Um, and you have the, this is the supply and everything. So what's your approach to this? Yeah, that's, that's a great question, Farrell. I think the Web3 gaming market is such a small pie of the overall gaming segment. And we all know how big the game industry is, right? It's bigger than music and Hollywood combined. But how many players are actually on board in the Web3 gaming space? This flawed notion of Web3 games being complex, needing an investment, an NFT uh, to, to partake in, or requiring a, a crazy amount of, of learning curve before you can actually get your hands on the game. Now, we, we want to disrupt that notion. We want to change that flawed perception because a Web3 game should just be as fun and should just be as easy to play as any other traditional mobile game out there. So our approach being on mobile, you download the game, you create an account with usual credentials, you know, username, password, email mm -hmm. address, zero wallet connection if you want to connect your wallet to amplify your gaming experience you do that on the web app that will be launching if you don't want to connect your wallet eh, no big deal i mean you still enjoy full gaming features zero <laughs> restrictions and that is the way we can win the hearts of the traditional uh, web 2 gamer and we're doing a lot of onboarding in the web 3 gaming space by the way a, a massive part a massive chunk of our community comes from the web 2 space every single day mind you we're spending 5,000 bucks on Facebook and Instagram ads with gameplay footage of Noah Frontier per day, all right? over your timeline every, per day. You heard it right, per day. We have anywhere from about 1,000, 2,000 people from the Web2 space coming to our community, joining the wait list, uh, inquiring about how blockchain works, what C phrases are, what MetaMask is, because now they are just so pumped. They can't wait to get their hands on Noah Frontier. And this is the approach. Uh, game first, NFT second. Blockchain is a by the way thing. It's supposed to be a background thing right so um focusing on the game right and here you know as a creator of of, of the game developer we, we want to build a community and community is everything right we, we've listened to feedback before the launch and that won't stop we built this game for you guys that's sick okay again love the energy um and so i'm, I'm looking at a space right now it's called this one's called quailork quailork and then there's a bunch of them so why so if the game is web two already, you can pull play it. Why should someone buy a spaceship? Like what? It's two hundred bucks. Seems affordable to me. What? Why would? Why should someone spend two hundred bucks on your product? Why should someone buy a spaceship? Penguin, tell me. Yeah, great question there. So spaceships are from two hundred dollars onwards, uh, and that's because yeah. of the early bird pricing, uh, where everything is slashed by fifty percent. So like with every game, right? You want to elevate your gaming experience if you're having fun. You know, you want to stand a, having an edge, um, you know, just better stats, uh, attack, defense capabilities. Having something that looks cool, I think that means a lot to a lot of players when you're having fun. So if you look on the right, you can see the different stats of the spaceships. And, and as you maneuver around the different ships, uh, they all feature different stats. And Farouk, if you actually scroll down a little bit, you can look at the spaceship in, in high res 3D. You can even rotate around. Yeah, you just uh, give it a few seconds, uh, zoom in right there, uh, play around with it. And you look at all the spaceships loading in super high definition. So that's our approach, right? Building a, a fun to play game, building free to play, but you want to get your hands on a spaceship because it also has a potential investment uh, gains. Um, and you can buy a spaceship using card or crypto. Right. So hmm. these spaceships are digital assets. They're collectibles. Oh, there you go. I think it loads right yeah. now, this spaceship. So you can uh, yeah, zoom there it is. Zoom there it is. And oh, yeah, yeah. And zoom, zoom, zoom it in, zoom it in, look at the attention to detail. And, and this is so sick fun. graphics. And mind you, building building a game with this level of graphics for mobile is on an, on a different playing field, man. You're working with devices that are a lot smaller, uh, processors, you know, graphic capabilities, not like PC. So sick. we are yet to see exactly you 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 got it. We're yet to Whoa, see. Whoa, I can zoom. There you go. Look at that. That is insane. I mean, you can just think about how this is gonna look and feel like when you get your hands piloting one of these now. Having said all of that, it's very important to note that Nova Frontier is not a pay to win game. You can have the best ship out there, but you need to be able to pilot it. You need to be able to control it with micro level precision. I mean, single flight sim games, right? There is no cruise control here, maybe. You need to be able to pilot your ship. It's fine. That's this thing is fine. It's fire. That's cool. Like the kid in me right now thinks this is fire. Oh, we do you like this. Are you good? You, you, you. Didn't you always want to have a spaceship as a kid? Like, you know, like little yeah. boys playing with spaceships. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> we can buy a very own spaceship now on the meta in the fucking metaverse. There you go. We are all you gonna know? be little Elon Musk, aren't we? 
<laughs> yeah, you know what? That's a great way to put it. We're all going to be little Elon. I love that. I love that. Uh, it, it, I, I, I think this is cool. Just, just your excitement about it makes me excited about it. Um, so there's, it looks like, I mean, I'm going to share the screen again. I was zooming in and shit. Like for the people who are wa not watching on video, like it's actually impressive. I have to say it. It's actually impressive, the, the, the quality of, of your stuff. Uh, so there's 6,000 comments, 200 bucks, uh, whatever that is in ETH now. Uh, it's, and then, um, it, it's on, is it on Ethereum, by the way? Is, is it, or are these assets? What, so, where are these assets? Great question right there, uh, Farouk. I mean, yeah, the different perspectives on NFTs, the different chains and so on. I mean, earlier today, you're talking about Bitcoin and ordinals and yeah. so on and stuff. But hey, look, at the end of the day, you know, we should embrace Web3 gaming. It does not matter which chain your asset is on. I think what's important here is utility. And we go down the route of the assets being mintable. So you buy your spaceship, it's a digital collectible. If you want to mint it, go ahead and mint it. It's a free mint, you just pay the gas. If you see value in minting it because you want to trade or you want to keep in your wallet or you mm -hmm. want to gift it to your friend and family, by all means. But if you don't want to mint it, then don't. You still enjoy full features of the spaceship. But yes, if you do mint it, coming to your question, it is on the ETH mainnet. Yeah. I mean, we're not we're not maxis at all here. It doesn't really matter. It's, it's the assets. We're the assets. You're not maxis. You're, you're not yet a penguin either, are you, Farouk? I, I, I got to get one. I mean, I like penguins. You know, we were talking about pudgy penguins earlier. And then you got your own penguins too. So, you know, uh, we like the penguins on the stage. Well, all the penguins. We like all the penguins. Um, I, your phone actually is funny. Uh, <laughs> Ovi, have you ever seen a real penguin? Yeah, I have, but not in not in their natural environment. You never been to Antarctica? No, me neither. I feel like something something Mando oh, we've gone to. It's gone. I'm pretty sure Mando on the stage would have been like, yeah, I've been. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I've probably been. Uh, you know, I should have checked when I had his passport. Uh, anyways, uh, so that that's pretty cool. Listen, tipsy bro, look. What, where where can people find out more about you? I mean, you're on stage right now on the Twitter Spaces. Um, your account is uh, the um, the um, the 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 account. Uh, obviously, your 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 company's account. Sorry, Tipsy Coin. So T I P S Y C O I N, Tipsy Coin. It's, it's a mouth and name, I guess. Um, and so, what 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 where do you want? Where should people be directed to? Yeah, man. Thank you. I mean, just come join, uh, join our ads, uh, turn on notifications, join the Discord. It's really important. Our, our spaceships are launching six days from now. It's a game okay. of demand versus supply. Uh, demand is, 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 you know, through the roof. Uh, ultimately, the game is free to play, right? And you guys are going to be able to get your hands on it later this month. And like you rightly pointed out, right, it, it, we, we have a different approach. It's, it's a game first approach. It does not matter from a project standpoint how many spaceships we sell. It will not detract from experience. You buy a lot of NFTs out there. You form or you want to be involved in communities only to realize that projects do not build. They make promises they never really deliver. So I, I like to say we stand out this way. And hey, man, this group of penguins here, right, this company, we are self-funded. So we stay true to our values. Values. Um, we are passionate, and, and this passion you can't lie through it, right? You feel no. it when you're in the room. You feel the energy. Uh, come and join uh, the community. I love to see some familiar faces. Dude, let's go. I mean, I, go. Like, I totally agree with you. You cannot fake passion. You can't fake that shit. Uh, and uh, and and I and I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Listen, we have a lot of guests on this show. A lot. And we get a lot of partners on the show as well. I think we have one every single day this week and next week, uh, including yourself. And you, you're you awesome. I can I can easily see when someone actually is about their shit and, and believes in their own product and 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 and, uh, and will work for it. So I love that. Make sure you all check them out, all right? Make sure you check out Tipsy Coin. Make sure you check out Forever Tipsy, our boy right here. And make sure that you check out Nova Frontier. If you want your own spaceship, you can get one for 200 bucks, all right? Starting at least. Uh, for 200 bucks and you'll be able to get it in six days right you said six days exactly i i encourage people to join the wait list uh april okay. 16 10 a.m est and that's the launch if you're able to get your hands on a legendary now that's top of the line uh those spaceships can transform in game by the way there is a button and it transforms into a robot i mean this is mega cool cinema in your palms <laughs> Go. Let's go. I love that, man. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being a show partner. We appreciate you, bro. Thank you for all good luck. Thank you. Thank Lots you. of love always. Coming. Cheers, guys. See you, brother. See you. All right. All right. Well, but dude, that was a he's a fun guest.
pissed. I was texting the team in the back. I was like, yo, this guy's cool. This guy's cool. He's got me hyped up. He's got me hyped up. I mean, between the Dubai spaces I just hosted for an hour and 10 minutes and this one, I'm going to go. If you're in Paris, I'm heading to the Solana event tonight. I'm going to go and ask the devs, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I am actually going to a Solana event tonight, though. Like, true story. Uh, and so, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, if you're in Paris, come say what's up. Ovi! You know, we're back tomorrow, 10 30 a.m. Same time, same place. Nice shirt, by the way. I like it. I like shout out Thank you. Uh nice shirt, nice shirt. It's actually really nice, honestly. It's good. <laughs> it's yeah, those are the best for golfing too. Like they're like so comfy. And dude, I miss golf. By the way, oh, you're not coming to Dubai. I was saying let's golf in Dubai. Um yeah, I was with I some lads Dubai. yesterday. I was with these guys yesterday, and you know what they're gonna do? Are you coming to Token 24 in Singapore by any chance? Mm. TBC. What if you come? It's September, right? Yeah. What if you come? Maybe. I was with these lads yesterday, these Aussies that are from Hong Kong. Um, and uh, and they're one of rent like six different tea times in Singapore in the same day in Sentosa and do a whole golfing thing. We fire. I can't wait. Uh so, anyways, yeah. I like meeting golf people at events. You know what I mean? Like that's my people. They, like, they got on golf. Anyways, with that, with that, with that, we'll see you tomorrow morning, 10 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. 4.30 p.m. in Paris. Peace out. Love y'all. Woo!